Well, hi everybody. <laughs> I'm sure you didn't expect to see me here this evening. I'm currently at Hong Kong Disneyland. And boy howdy, I did not expect news to drop either. Usually, if new Mega Constructs news drops, I'll just ignore it until I have the space to film. But this is so great, this is so major, I had to get in front of a camera and talk about it. So I'm gonna do this as best I can with very scrappy notes. Welcome to Hong Kong Disneyland, everybody. <laughs> so, Mega Constructs just uploaded a PDF to their website that somebody found. It details a brand new blind bag series. And I know what you're thinking, oh, Halo Infinite Series 4 blind bags, oh, that's not really my cup of tea, maybe. This is called Halo Universe Series 1. Now, don't get me wrong, the Halo Infinite toys the last year have been outstanding, like the best Mega Constructs might have ever made. But there has been something lacking, which is sort of universal content, like things re respecting all of the Halo games that came before it. So here we are, like I've seen a lot of forums, I've seen a lot of social media saying, where is Halo celebrating like the previous games? Like why is Mega Constructs leading up to the 20th anniversary of Combat Evolved not celebrating those other games? Like yes, we have the Combat Evolved anniversary pack, which is an incredible set of 20 figures, but it's not really like, like that's just one thing, right? Like that's just one celebratory pack. So what are we gonna get after that? Are we just gonna get Halo Infinite toys for the next two or three years? No, we're gonna get Halo Universe, baby. Halo Universe Series 1 is a brand new blind bag series. We don't know much about how it's gonna be released or whether it's SDCC. We just know that it's gonna include some outstanding figures. I'm gonna go down the list. And yes, Halo Universe is the universe of Halo. It's not just Halo Infinite, it's everything. So I think this is the perfect way of Mega Constructs having a differentiation between their lines, which is really what they needed, a full Halo Infinite line, and then a universe line that celebrates everything that came before. It's just fantastic. It's like Jazzware is doing the same thing. Their World of Halo scale is just infinite, and their Spartan collection is everything else. So let's run down the figures, because we, oh boy, we got some good ones. The first one on the list, I'm gonna go from like the earliest game to the latest, is Combat Evolved. We got a Spartan Mark V. He's got a silver visor. He's looking outstanding with a silver Combat Evolved pistol. I always kind of wish they'd made a separate Combat Evolved pistol for just that game because it's so iconic. But this gun is definitely representative of that game. And he has blue armor with a plain black undersuit. He's a pretty basic figure, but like he's the next addition to what they were doing with Clash on the Ring, but now the new visor sort of represents that MCC customization that we've known to love. They've been adding so much to all the old Halo games, and this is definitely a nice nod to that. Next, we've got, and I count them, three Halo 2 figures, which is kind of funny because the Halo universe, you'd expect one from each game. There's no Halo Wars 1, there's no Halo 3 or 4 in this, no Halo 5 Guardians either, but hey-ho, we got three Halo 2 figures, which is kind of crazy. The first one is, I, I just had to talk about this first, the Brute Major, my monkey boy. This guy looks exactly like he did in Halo 2, like the molding is exceptional. He's got a red plasma rifle, brown fur with brown toes, and then a black belt, dark gray bottom legs, like his legs are split into two different colors, dark gray, and then he's got a purple helmet, which I definitely think is just one mold with his head. Kind of looks like a little, little top hat, it's pretty cute. And then also purple shoulders, which are old molds, but like the new monkey mold, is looking exceptional, like I love a good monkey. Then we've got a pretty basic Grunt Ultra. He's just, uh, we're gonna call him Vicky from now on. And he's got a purple needler, silver armor, and a dark gray body. Not much to say about him, but he's a pretty great one. And then we've got the UNSC Marine. Now, it's kind of funny, because the other day I was thinking, where are my Halo 2 Marines? I just got the anniversary battleground sealed in a recent haul. And man, they just have not used that armor well enough. But here we got a brand new Halo 2 Marine with a brand new head mold. He's got that green armor with some nice silver detailing on his chest. He's looking exceptional, and he also comes with a Sputnika rocket launcher. The last two for today, Halo Wars 2 Elite Miner. Yeah, this is a very basic figure, and it's kind of the exact same as the Battle for the Ark, 
blind bags, but I don't mind. It's still a really nice one. It's got yellow armor, silver highlights, a purple carbine, and then silver second half of their limbs. Like Again, his limbs are split into two different colors, which I always really appreciate, and black skin tone underneath that armor. Fantastic. And the last one for today, I saved the best to last, a brand new Halo Infinite figure. This is the Spartan Esther. I kind of feel like he's a CQB, like rival, like a lot of the old school Halo 3 armors are being redefined as new names in Halo Infinite. I kind of feel like that's the same thing. This Spartan Esther is half translucent purple and a black undersuit. They're the figures. I'm kind of getting a bit paranoid because Disneyland is already closed and everybody has left. Like if you look around, when we started filming there were a lot of people. So we might make our way towards the exit, but I'll sign it off in a second. Let's, let's go check it out. Main Street, USA. <laughs> I, I kind of felt like some of the music that's playing might get copyright struck. If, if so, come on, Disney, come on, let's be cool. All right, so I, I almost glossed over the best figure of this layout, this brand new Spartan that we've never even seen before, the Spartan Aster. And yeah, he's got a silver commando rifle. I told you, once this baby drops, we'll have it in every single set. This commando and this Aster Spartan look amazing. And I used to love like when they did the armory packs and the uh, Halo 5 Warzone rec pack things. Um, rec packs, no, that's not the word. And when they did the old Halo 5 Guardians armor packs, like armor deployment packs, it was cool when you had like a solid base figure and then translucent colors on top. I also, I always thought that was really great. These figures, it's a weird jumble, but like I just so respect where they're going for. Like, I, I just so respect what they're going for. That makes sense. It's like a random jumble of figures, but I just so respect what they're going for here. Halo Universe can now stand aside from Halo Infinite because Halo Infinite is basically, Microsoft said, it's a 10 year game. So 343 and also Jazzware, I mean, Mega Constructs, they need to have a road plan to like set themselves apart, have Halo Infinite a separate thing from everything else because there is so much 20 years of legacy before it in fact that you need to have uh, some differentiation on your brand now. So it's really cool. I really look forward to seeing how many new old legacy sets they start releasing. I know it's been a whole thing that like Mega Constructs, especially with a load of these toys leaking, they can't really have old school stuff. Like if they included like a Shadow Convoy and they released it this year, everybody would just expect it to be an infinite. So I know they have to watch themselves, but I'm hoping the Halo universe line will expand exponentially outwards so they can have two whole different things. They can just produce twice as many toys, Halo Infinite and Halo Universe. Knock, knock. We gotta have a little Ragnarok set, all right? We gotta have a Valhalla set. That's all I'm asking for. Give me some base plates. This is very exciting news, fellas. We have a brand new monkey boy, the return of the Halo 2 Marine, a brand new Spartan in Infinite. Like these are all exceptional pieces of the upcoming Mega Constructs puzzle. Like we don't even know what they're gonna release towards the end of this year, but the future's looking pretty bright right now. I'd, I'd say so. And on that note, I hear the Little Mermaid playing, so I'm gonna take a stroll down Main Street. Have a great evening, everybody. Catch you later, stay awesome, stay safe. Domain signing off.